here, babe. I'm not doing it. But here I am again doing white people shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you do it. Look at <laughs> it. Here, babe. Like, this is here I am. <laughs> doing white people shit. <laughs> the flash is already on. Bro, it's back now. Be careful, don't hit you. Dang. Is the water hot? No, the water's hot. Oh. Oh, it does feel hot. What a thing, I hate to take a shower. Hard to The water's warm. This is crazy. I kill you. I know. <laughs> Look at the icicle. <laughs> All right, this is take two. I ain't trying to get stuck. Yeah, because we got four wheel drive, don't mean we can't get stuck. Wait, open the car. I gotta get my They got some other people ahead of us. They say that this might be the way, might not be. But this is definitely a different way than I came the first time. These views. I wanna go too far in. On the road again. <laughs> oh, Allah, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this shit deep. It ain't born. Fuck. I see my shoe. <laughs> so just a little backstory into this hike. Last time I went with some girls that <laughs> weren't as, I guess, skilled in hiking. We left late, but we on time this time. I should start my watch. This hike is already starting off better because it just looks better. I already got my damn breath back. You got what? So I finally got my breath back. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Did y'all look at a map or anything before? Yeah, we did, bro. What did it say? You cut off to the right? Uh, he's the one that looked at our own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep going straight. Dang. Y'all say what's up like to my size. vlog. What up, what up? What's up? <laughs> Lady had to stop and pee. Uh -huh. <laughs> now the last time I came, I, I came with some girls and they didn't know the, where to go. They said they knew where to go. Uh, did you, have you gone to the, the, the other waterfall? No. Nah. Springs? No. No. Nah. That one easier to get to? Yeah. Yeah, right away. Like, instead of taking the right, you go straight. Yeah. And there's right. Once you go like what? 10 minutes, 15 minutes more? Yeah. You see a parking spot right away and then. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a child that tells you where going. Well, at least it's not. Like an hour hike, though. Yeah. It's worth it, though. There's, there's like three water. Yeah, the one I went to last time was about maybe three miles that way, and we went about eight miles in and still didn't see anything. <laughs> I was so mad. It was nighttime by the time we got back.
find these ones. Right. <laughs> Last time I started my vlog, I didn't quite introduce myself. My name is DeQuante Q Brown. Um, you know, I like to do things like this, hiking and outdoor things. I'm a travel nurse, so I'm here in New Mexico. Just trying to take advantage of their beautiful land because it's really beautiful. So they said it's not really a cut off or anything. They say you just walk straight and we should make it. Been here before? Nope. Oh. But they say they look at, the, at a map though. I'm looking at a map too. That's not what it said. It said we got to cut off somewhere? Look. Look at it though. Okay. We're on this road, 376, and then we get off here. All right. There you have it, guys. We have Dora the Explorer. Dora, Dora, Dora <laughs> the Explorer. <laughs> All right, three miles in, two more to go. How you feeling, buddy? Feeling good. Feeling hot, though. Yeah, it's, it's definitely hotter than it looks. We have a little straggler, but she's hanging in there. She's keeping up slowly. Yeah, pacing herself. She's going to be the one that has enough energy coming back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's getting icy, icy. But we're definitely going the right way. Saw someone coming back from the high springs and they said they have about nine people there already. We about to do some nigga shit. <laughs> we about to kick everybody out of this motherfucker. You can't say that on YouTube. Huh? You can't say that on YouTube. I can't say this on YouTube? No. Well, you just gotta pick that out. I'm about to edit that out. <laughs> well, I don't know YouTube rules. <laughs> We're gonna get over there and start shooting. Boom, boom, boom. Get out. <laughs> everybody. Like we are arriving. What you want, Willie? San Antonio Hot Springs. Which way? Stop, man.
Oh. Up the hill. I hope I don't have any boogers in my nose. This is so good. Come on! Hello up there! Where are we going? Long way. I'm always the one doing the most. Being athletic and stuff. <sighs> I must admit I am kind of tired. It got pretty steep around this part. But I want to get there. So excited. They're coming. Finally made it. To say I'm out here in the damn swimming trunks. <laughs> it don't feel as cold. Oh shit, the water is actually hot. Not really. They playing, look at them. <laughs> Finally made it. Definitely worth the walk.
So I'm going to do a little rant while I am walking back to the car. We have about 30, 40 minutes before we're back to the car. So we're going to be walking in the dark again. I'm not thrilled about it, but when you fail to prepare, you end up in a situation like this. I mean, the walk there was super fun. Being at the hot springs was super fun. Interesting, but super fun. Um, but my rant is about, I guess, preparation when it comes to relationships. You know, a lot of people feel as though you really don't have to prepare to be in a relationship. You kind of just go into a relationship, hope for the best, but preparation is key. And what, I, what do I mean by preparation? I mean, really fully getting to know yourself, really understanding yourself, knowing what you like, knowing what you dislike. It makes the world of a difference. I think that a lot of times we go into relationships unfulfilled and we look to our partners to fulfill us. And that leads us to just, you know, hard times. Um, really loving yourself, fulfilling yourself before you get into a relationship allows you to feel more vulnerable and more willing to fulfill someone else. Um, I read a lot of articles about it and I couldn't agree more. During this time in New Mexico, I really got to know myself, know what I love, know what I like, know what I dislike, knowing what I want for my life and for my future. And I feel like it has really transformed my thoughts on relationships. You know, a lot of times we look to people to love us, um, but we don't fully love ourselves. And, you know, putting that kind of pressure on someone else who probably isn't fulfilled themselves or someone who is struggling just as well as you are, it kind of becomes toxic. So, you know, I urge all of you lovers out there, if you are experiencing toxic times in your relationship, to really pause and try to get to know yourself. I mean, that may take a separation, it may take a pause, but it's worth it. I've been here in New Mexico and 
man, I just, I just really dug into understanding myself, really getting comfortable with myself. And it kind of makes me want to fulfill someone else. Um, it makes me want to help someone else along the journey that I'm on. Um, it definitely gave me patience, understanding. And I mean, I just think it helps to really form a beautiful connection if you really love yourself. I just really want you all to be loved, but in order to be loved, you have to love yourself. Thank you.